Hello everybody and welcome back to the next Unity tutorial video. So we left off where we could click on our cards and they would flip over. And so now what we're going to do is determine if two of them match and if they do keep them flip over and if they don't we're going to flip them back over. So to do this let's go into our play mat and this thing is also going to use our versioning so we're going to make this a version view and we're going to get rid of this fun, uh, update and we're going to use our dirty update okay and then we're going to go ahead and do uh, give ourselves a way to easily access our playmat which is going to include making a static playmat variable And then assigning to that and start. And then we're going to make a function that will return this. And then this will return. Our map. Okay, and then this is not going to be public. So in card now, we can pass our instance of this card into a function in here to keep track of it. So we're going to need some variables. Card one. And then card two. And we're going to need a function. So set cards for match will take in a card and it will determine if one of our cards, if a card is empty or null, it will assign it to it. And then we will mark dirty at the end. So now we can set our cards and then we will call this dirty update. Um, so then what we're going to do in here is we're going to determine what state we're in. So we're going to have another enumeration up here. Caught up board state and there would be flipping and comparing. and we will start this as flipping so we're flipping when we only have one card or no cards so our state and our state will also be comparing here and then in our dirty update, we're going to have a switch on our state. And if we are comparing, we're going to be doing something. And we're going to make a function here. Called compare. So compare will check our two cards to see if they are the same. So if one if card one's card type equals card two's card type, 
then we know we found a match. Otherwise, we know we didn't find a match. And then at the end of this, we're going to go ahead and set card 1 equal to null, card 2 equal to null, and then we're going to also set our void state back to flipping. So if we found a perfect match, then it's not much to do. For now, we're just going to print out we got a match. If we didn't get a match, then we're going to want to go ahead and unflip our cards. So to do this, we're going to make a function down here called unflip. This will set the state of our card. equal to hidden and then it will mark dirty okay back in playmat we're going to call this off of each card And then to unflip the card, we're going to have to do a little bit more in our start card flip. So we'll also after this, if our anime or if our if our state is equal to flipped. We will call our playmat and then we will call set cards for match and we will pass in this. And if our state is equal to card state dot flipped. We're going to do a certain type of animation, otherwise we would do a different type of animation. So we're going to need access to our animation state or animation clip. And we're going to use our animation clips time or length plus our delay. And that is how long we'll wait before we tell the playmat that we flip the card so that the full animation will play. So we're going to assign our clip based on our based on how we want to flip the card. Uh, so card view dot animation and these are called it's called card flip. So if we're just flipping, then we want to set our speed uh, card view dot animation So we want to actually call get anim get clip here and pass in card clip and then in the function or in the um, if statement we want to call card view dot animation and then card flip to get the animation state and we want to set the speed equal to one if we're flipping. Otherwise, we want to set the speed to negative one. And then there's one more thing we need to do for reversing the animation. 
and that is to set the length of the animation to the maximum amount of time uh, which will equal top length and then we will play it so we flip if we flip and get don't get a match it will now reverse the animation so you can now at least play a full game there is still no winning or losing condition but it's getting closer thank you guys for watching Thank <laughs> you.